TV5 News. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with, with their proposal. I'm going to file it in its proper place because that's where it belongs, the trash. Tensions rising between the big three and United Auto Workers Union. The UAW president accusing Stellantis of seeking concessions at a time the union is seeking gains. Just over a month remains before its contract expires with General Motors, Ford and Stellantis, formerly Chrysler. Now among the UAW's demands, pay raises of more than 40% over four years, restoration of pensions for newer hirees, cost of living increases and an end to wage tiers. Stellantis has passed over a list of initial proposals that are riddled with givebacks. In a Facebook Live today, UAW President Sean Fain accused Stellantis of threatening the workers' profit-sharing formula, of proposing cuts to existing medical coverage, eliminating the holiday conversion option, among other things. He points out Stellantis's more than $12 billion in profits in the first half of the year. Our message to the big three is simple and very blunt. Record profits equal record contracts. But apparently, Stellantis isn't listening. Fain more than suggested the union was willing to strike, noting it has a healthy strike fund. We have a plan, and and uh, come September 14th, if these companies don't deliver, they're going to see that they're going to see that plan unfold. We have reached out to Stellantis for its take on the negotiations thus far. The company has yet to respond. The UAW did not directly address progress with GM or Ford.